It was just announced this week that the first ever space hotel is slated to be operational by 2027. And in other news, Maizawa has just opened up the ability for the public to be a member of his eight man personal crew on board his private mission to the moon. Find out more on this episode of the Starman Report. I'm Eli, and welcome back to the Starman Report. We certainly have a lot of exciting news to talk about today, but first, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I would really appreciate if you would consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future episodes. So it broke this week that the first planned space hotel is going to be operational by 2027. The company is called Orbital Assembly Corporation, and it has plans to build what it's calling the Voyager Station. So on top of taking reservations to individual galactic tourists, their plan is to sell a portion of the hotel to permanent stakeholders, including government agencies, and looking to use the site as a training center for landlords looking to create a villa on board the craft. John Blinko, founder of the Gateway Foundation, said that this will be the next industrial revolution and that may sound crazy, but he's probably right. So SpaceX Starship, which is currently undergoing development, is going to change our relationship with space forever. So currently, it's very expensive to put cargo into space. The majority of humanity's rockets cost hundreds of millions of dollars per launch, and they only get one-time use. That makes it very costly to put anything into space, and why we've seen no real private development of things like a space hotel. So now enter Starship. This is SpaceX's new launch system that's aimed at delivering 100 metric tons of cargo to low Earth orbit. So for us Americans, that's 220 pounds of payload per flight. And Elon's ultimate goal, although optimistic, is that they will be able to do it for $1.5 million per launch. So to put that into perspective, that's delivering a pound of cargo to low Earth orbit for under $5 a pound. That's right. So you may be able to put something into space for less than it costs the post office to send your birthday gift to your aunt in Wisconsin that, by the way, is gonna still show up three days late. So it's gonna take SpaceX time to drive down to these prices and get the economies of scale. But if you know Elon Musk, unless something defies the laws of physics, he's going to make it happen. In other exciting news, Yusaku Maizawa, MZ, is taking public signups for his crew of his private mission called Dear Moon. MZ purchased the first private flight on board Starship to help fund its development, and so he could bring leading artists from around the world with him to space to help get them inspired so that they would come back and create their artwork inspired by the experience of visiting the moon. So we don't have any details yet for this public selection process or what the criteria will be of who they're gonna select, but it's super simple to sign up. You can go check out the form at dearmoon.earth, put in your name, a little bit of basic info, and that's all it takes to put your name in the hat for consideration. They also give you this really cool entry ticket at the conclusion of making your entry. You can see mine here, which they encourage you to share on Twitter, Facebook, or your other social media. I gotta say, this is such an exciting time we live in. We are truly on the precipice of humanity's march into space. And I am so thrilled to be able to share in that excitement with you through this show. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this episode of the Starman Report. And I look forward to having you back for more of the most exciting news in space.